Hey guys, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and today I am here to set up my X1 binder officially. So I have finally received all the photo cards, so I'm going to show you guys setting everything up in this binder. Um, I'm not going to focus in too much on the actual photo cards right now, more so on the design of the binder, um, because I will be doing a full X1 collection video that I have up to this point and I will be doing that um, probably next week because I'm waiting for one final thing that is not a photo card to be coming in so yes we are going to wait next week to do that and I'll really focus in on the cards then but for now let's go ahead and organize and set up this binder so I did get a few couple of little supplies um, so I got these pens they are really cute they're cute colors um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and open them up now <clears throat> they were really pretty colors and since I want to do a little bit of like handwritten stuff make this binder as nice as possible I did want to get um, some colorful pens so we just have some different colored pins here that I will be using to write some stuff in so I'm gonna put these down here I have all of my cards right here i'm actually going to move them off to the side for right now um and we'll do bit by bit of this setup and we will pretty much just get into that so right now of my supplies i have the pins some glue you'll see what i'm going to be using that for a bit um we have this um, i actually do need this sticker this will be coming into play very quickly and i do have this exacto knife which I may or may not need to use. Um, then I have right here some card stock because um, I will be gluing some stuff down in a moment. Then I have these sheets. So I have these just for references for when I write. Um, it's just their, it's just their names. But I wanted it to look kind of nice, so I'm gonna be like when I write their names, I'm going to be copying um, this pattern like that font, kind of, okay? And then we have these and these sheets, which I will be using for dividers and for names. And then we have some divider <laughs> sheets that I have. So those are those. Then we have all of my actual sheets that will be going into the binder. So I'll show you guys a bit later, but we have full page sheets here. Um, we have four cut sheets, so these are for four cards. Then we have the two cut sheets, so these fit two. They do have these like little tiny ones, which we're going to see if I'm going to use those. Um, but they do have like these little tiny ones. I might use them for the bookmarks, but I'm not sure. And then just generic nine card pages here. Um, so those will be going into the binder later. And then this binder here, I did buy this at Office Depot or Office Max, whichever that is. I was inspired by One Hey, Carolyn, because I had been buying cheap binders and I hadn't thought of going to Office Depot. So I went there and I went to this Office Depot and look at this! Look, I like this clip so much better than any of the other clips I've had so far. So. Well, I did have to spend like, it was, I think, $9 for this binder. It is, I do like it better. It's a one and a half inch binder because I wanted it to be a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and let's start. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to pull this sticker off here. So oh, now we just have a plane. I may put a sticker here. Let's see. Is it wide enough? No, it's like too wide to go here. So what I am going to do, so this is the top. So I do have these stickers that I made. Um, I might give some out later on in the future, but right now I'm going to go ahead and these are, this is a vinyl sticker. So it is a little bit of a heavier duty sticker. Um, okay. So we have the X1 logo here and I'm just going to put this 
right in the middle. Near the top though, I don't want to put it too far down. And that looks good enough. It's probably not perfect, but it doesn't look bad to me. So there's the X1. So far we're off to a good start. <laughs> um, I'm probably not going to be doing too much else to the front for right now. Um, so let's go on and move on to the stuff inside. So let's start with these guys. These are going to be my full shade, full page sheets. Because even though these are going to be one page and they're going to be full sheets, I do want them to be a little bit sturdier in the actual binder and not so flimsy when I flip pages. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to flip this over and we're going old school. And we're going to glue this page down. So I'm just going to get glue. This is just plain old Elmer's basic, boring, kitty glue. Make sure I get the corners and the sides. I am not a crafty person, so like, if you know way better ways to do these things or how to make things look nicer, please let me know because I will surely be modifying this. This is something preliminary, something I've never done before. But I just really want this binder to look nice. So I've glued down this sheet now and it's pretty, pretty well aligned. It's not sticking out on any of the edges there. And so this is for the premiere separating so that I have stuff for the premiere Showcon good specifically. And then here is for their debut mini album. I did use the same image for both. Um, just because they're a part of the same era, I do plan for the next era that I will change the image to, to match the next era, era, which the boys have already been dyeing their hair and they've been in, in and out and out of swing constantly. So we know it's coming. I kind of expected it to be end of November, early December. And so far that does seem to be lining up with what we're seeing. Obviously there's no announcement probably won't get an announcement for another few weeks, but it definitely seems like it is just right around the corner and I'm ready for it. So get that and then carefully line this guy up. That is the one nice thing about this glue though, is that I can move it around a little bit, which is also the reason why I do want to let it set for a moment but I can move it around a bit. So while these two pages right here finish setting, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing these guys. So, so for these pages, these pages are actually gonna be for the nine sheet pages because I need individual like card spaces. So this page is obviously, when I printed it, it obviously can't go to the very edges. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing is just gluing it down. And since I'm going to be cutting them anyway, I'm just going to be cutting inside the color section. So I'm not worried about it um, not going to the very edges in that case. So, but I am going to be doing both yellow and green. So let's go ahead and let's, let's get these pages glued down. Did do them in both yellow and green. I did not do it in the light blue just because I feel like the color contrasts work a little bit better with the yellow and the green and then some sort of blue text rather than the light blue background and the dark blue. Although those colors do work, um, I just feel for the sake of the binder I want some more contrast. And sorry if I hit this, I am like leaning over everything in order for me to do this on camera, so I'm very sorry if I accidentally knock things around every so often. So 
So I don't know if I'm actually going to need three full sheets of these, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough just in case. So I am going to actually prepare this third set of yellow and green as well, just in case I do need it. If I don't need it, then I have extra for in the future. But if I do need it, then I won't have to sit there and try to remake stuff. So. Okay, so here are the nine sheets. I'm going to let these sit and some of these guys finish drying over here. And we're gonna move back to these guys now. So I'm gonna put them into their full page sheets. So these guys, like I mentioned, are going to be going into here. So we're gonna just So that's the first page, and then here is and then here is the second. So these guys are gonna chill out in here now. Let me start working on these guys. So what I was thinking is I was thinking I would do um, them alternating back and forth colors, yellow and green, the yellow and green. So I'm going to start, let's start with the yellow and I'm going to need, I need one of my nine page sheets. And so pretty much I just need to like size this somehow. So let's take the black pen and I'm going to flip this over onto its back. So this comes down to about here and I'm doing this on the back so that way I don't ruin it and then it comes to, so let's keep this in line with this <clears throat> and they come up to about here. And then let's see how wide we want. So as far as the width goes, we want it about here and about there. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the pretty much the same thing. I'm going to slide this over just a little bit here. Keep this going across and then I'm going to size the next section to right about there and then I'm going to slide just a little bit and then I'm going to size the last bit of this page so it's going to be to just inside here as well and again I'm going to do just for my own sake I'm going to line this up right here and then we're just going to draw across and I don't mind that this is a little bit messy right now because um, like I mentioned um, I'm just going to be I'm just sizing this up a little bit right now um, and I'm, that's the reason why I did it on the back because I'm not going to mess anything up back here because it's just the back. So it's pretty rough right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm really going to focus on this bottom corner here because this is the one that I worked the most on sizing to get correct. So what I'm going to focus on with this one is cutting up a perfectly straight line here. And then again, cutting a perfectly straight line up. So I ignored my line there because, hey, it's imperfect there. But the edges, we're gonna 
Okay, so this is the little bit that I end up getting here, and I'm gonna cut off this little edge here because I don't want it. And then I'm going to take this and check it and see if I need to make any more adjustments to it. So I'm gonna take this and I slide this in here. It's a little bit wide, so I'm just gonna cut this. Down just a little bit more. Okay, so that is now like the perfect width for that. So I'm just gonna fix this little flyaway here because it slants up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that I have this one in the exact size that I want it, I'm pretty much going to use this as the template for all of the rest of them. So give me a moment and I'm going to cut all these guys up. Now I have these, I ended up just doing just the yellow, <clears throat> but I have all the little pieces now. <clears throat> and yes, some of the backs are a little bit messy, but most of them are clean because they were, I just cut them out around. So these guys are all set up. So now it's time for me to draw. So I think I'm going to write in blue, but I want to see what the blue pen looks like. So let's just, I'm going to flip this over and use like the back of the binder here just to write on and look at what that blue looks like and look at what the green looks like. <clears throat> And then more importantly, I want to see what they look like on this color now. So here is the green and I'll just do so green Han Sing Lu and I will then do blue and so when you look at the two here there's the green and there's the blue and I think I like the blue better so I'm gonna do this in the blue so I have these guys so I'm gonna do one for each member so we have, so this is pretty much what I'm doing on the cards. Maybe in the future I'll de decorate them more, but right now just, just their names. And I'm going to do it diagonal like that for all of them. I'm trying to write this really slow. Usually when I write in Korean, I write much faster than this, but since it's not my native language, I really don't want to mess up the letters or um, mess anything up because then I, it'll take forever for me to redo this stuff, so. So that is it for all the letters that I'm going to need. These are the extras I'm going to need. It's now time to put everything inside. So let's flip this open. 
let's start. So we're gonna start with the Premier Shokan. So technically these goods were released first. So Premier Shokan. So for the Shokan goods, we have these photo cards and we have these photo cards. We also have these postcards. So for the Premier Shokan, I need four nine sheet pages and a bunch more of these. <laughs> I need six of the uh, two sheet pages. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start with these four because we're going to do the photo cards first and then we'll do the postcards in the back. So then the postcards will go this way and I'll close this up. And let's just get all of them in here now. Now we have the Premier Shokan section done. And now we just need to put in the cards. So they didn't put any of these in order. <laughs> so I have to find the order. The Premier Showtime section is now complete. And on we go to the debut mini. I'm so used to my cheap binders that I'm not used to this nice little clip. Okay, so debut time. Again, we need these single sheet pages. So I need to have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> and then I also need the four sheet pages, of which I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're gonna do these pages in first. So we're going to put them on this side. And then these pages in next. So here are the next set of pages. And then so for these guys, I'm using the green ones. So I did already have have them all named now already. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the yellows for the other ones. Okay, so now we have green ones in the little pages and it is time to put these in so since it was the B song and then the quantum leap version I'm gonna go ahead and put them in in that order and I do already have them ordered so I don't have to worry about them not being in order
I put these in in the wrong order. I started going the other direction. Okay, so now the photo cards are in and it is the Beast Song versions and then the Quantum Leap versions. Now we have the two sheet pages and I'm gonna do the same thing, B song and then Quantum Leap. So we have these guys. These are gonna go in the quad pages. And there we have all of those guys. So now we have all those kinos in there. And I'm going to put in one more thing. So I'm going to put in these last two quad pages. Again, I'm not used to this. Just all I have to do is press the button and it just moves. It's so much nicer than what I used to have, yet I'm so unused to it. Okay. And so with these guys, I do have bookmarks. So I'm going to put the bookmarks in as well. And so these bookmarks will fit in the quad pages. So in this case, and then lastly, I have these guys, but I'm still not sure what I'm going to do because they're not going in this binder. Look how much space they would take if I had them in the binder. So I don't think they're going to go in here, <clears throat> but that is now my X1 photo book. So just real quick, I'll run through it. Like I said, I'm not going to go real quick into the photos because I am going to be doing a full flip through but I will flip through and see so you can see the basics of how this looks now but I will be doing a much closer one very soon once I receive the other albums and I will have everything fully fully 100% in place But I think that for the first time actually trying to style this, this has actually come out pretty well. So I am happy with my photo book so far. This is... But it looks really nice to be able to see all the guys like this. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to collect the bookmarks, just the ones that I get in the albums, um, but the photo cards, all of those will be collected. But yeah, that is now organized. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys. Bye.